What's going on guys? We got one of the most versatile new wheels to the game. Uh, Sim Magic Neo. Stay tuned. All right, before we go in the room and get started, um, this is the Sim Magic GT Neo. Um, what's crazy to me about it, it's about, it's about 300 bucks. Um, 300 millimeter wheel, which is kind of the sweet spot if you can only get one wheel to drive multiple cars with. Um, first impression that stand out to me right away is, initially I was kind of, hesitant on it because it's not a full carbon fiber it is a carbon fiber reinforced plastic meaning and weaves of carbon fiber within the wheel but in person it feels good um the closest competitors to this would be the Mosey KS and the McLaren um, GT3 wheel um, uh, the difference with this though is um, you have your mag link right here, which will enable you to run it on multiple setups. Um, Moza do have something similar with the KS, but and then you got a lot of uh, RGBs. This is the only one that's SimHub compatible. Um, so let's go ahead and get in here, and we'll get it bolted up, and uh, we'll get some footage, and I will talk with Josh, and we'll go from there. So. GT Neo, my first impressions are it is heavy in quality. Um, I am just coming off of <laughs> driving a Gomez. That'll be the next video we do. But this is a, a very versatile wheel. Um, 300 millimeters, a sweet spot. Um, will, it, will it hurt if I pop it off? We got two clutches back here. Um, I mentioned how it's one of the most widely usable wheels. We have the mag link right here so that basically all you got to do is get away to bolt the wheel up um, and you're good to go. So that being said, we got SIM hub compatibility. We got a ton of, ton of LEDs you can customize. Um, one thing that I like is the flu fluorescent buttons are called, right? And what that does is basically, it doesn't force you to pick a color. You can change it in the software to uh, any color you want. So let's go ahead. Um, we're going to drive a couple cars today just to kind of test the range. Um, we don't got the clutches mapped right now, but maybe we'll do that today. Um, I drove it a little bit earlier in iRacing. It's, it's, it's really crazy that this will only cost uh, $300. Josh, you got anything you want to add on it? Uh, yeah, so I, I always ask people when they drive on it is like, because they're like, oh, it's a $300 wheel, you know. The, the, what, if, if this were the same price as, you know, a $500 wheel, would you still spend the money on it? And most people say yes, because, you know, what's out in the market right now that you can buy for around $300 for this quality? When I took it out of the box, it was super heavy which I was very surprised of because it's not made of real carbon fiber. It's made of, I would assume, some type of ABS plastic. Yeah, it's... Um, to made to look like carbon fiber. It's carbon fiber reinforced plastic. So they got... Ultimately, it has plastic, but it has... I believe it just has more weaves of carbon fiber than, uh... than your Moza KS. You know, your, um... Your McLaren V2, but and, and the other thing is, what wheel can you buy at this price that works with Simho? Yeah, I think that's the the big thing is like, well, the the thing for me is like the the closest thing to this really is the GS, but the GS doesn't have Simho, right? Which changes the game. Like, I mean, look at all the colors, and and I have a very basic setup on this wheel right now. Uh, uh, the LEDs, you can make them change colors whenever you change the knobs. You can change the colors on the on the uh, 
the uh, what's it called the RPM gauge, yeah. which right now it seems to not be working in AMS for some reason. Uh, I think it's just because we have to change the game on Sim Hub, and that's why. But um, there, there's no other wheel on the market. I mean, what, what you're gonna do? What a McLaren a McLaren wheel from Fanatec, like, and to 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 that comparison, this that feels like a toy compared to this. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing for me is like. And the other thing is, they knew what we would want to do with it. They knew that they could sell more wheels if they, if you know, they made it compatible with other things. So they went ahead and went the cube controls route, magnetic connector, USB. It even comes with a little USB hub that extends the cable a little longer, mm -hmm. which is actually very helpful for me because I have many wheels. I don't actually have to connect the wheel to the PC. I just connect it to this little hub, and it extends the, the coil cable out a little bit further. Yeah. Um, I just, you know what, I have a Moza FSR, I love the Moza FSR when I had it, or, or when I used it, it was a great wheel, a fantastic wheel for me, um, the screen and everything was really cool, I would choose this wheel over the Moza FSR, and that's just me, just me, um, I like the weight behind the wheel, um, a little bit heavier than the Moza, but uh, the grips also feel better than the Moza to me too, yeah. so... For that reason alone, I, and you know what, the paddle shifters, I, I, you know, I'm very particular about paddle shifters. These paddle shifters feel very premium. Yeah. Like, very premium. Moza, make, or Moza, Simagic makes a great product. I've used their wheels for a while, um, but this wheel really exceeded my expectations. And you're going to go on YouTube and you're going to type, you're going to see this review, and you're going to look at other people's reviews, and unanimously, it's very strange, because when I bought it, I was, n no one had anything bad to say about it. Like... Okay, there's a lot of good about it, but what are the cons for it? And honestly, I don't really have any cons for it either. Yeah. Um, it, it's hard. It's really hard. You know, it's scary that there's so many good reviews out there and not bad ones, but you can't really have anything to say that's bad about the wheel. Yeah, what I what I think is really, really good about this wheel, like if you, you know, if you kind of stick to big names, so we'll say... Moza, all right. Moza has the GS. That's four hundred dollars. It's not multi-platform, so it's it's locked into the ecosystem. Maybe, maybe because of how good this is, it'll force them to do to make it cross-platform. Then you got the McLaren. The McLaren is well, not the McLaren. The 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 F1 Fanatec stuff. Now that's premium. It's carbon fiber. Um, but it's also smaller than this, and it's um, it's locked in. The fact that you get this size for this price is just kind of crazy to me. Um, then you know, above that, you got your your F Pro, your F cores, um, and then you have more your like true what I consider to be GT style wheels. Um, so I'm I am very impressed with it. Um, yeah, this thing is this thing is slick, man. Let's go ahead and get these uh get these LEDs dialed in our rev lights. We'll get the lights turned off and we'll get some more footage. We got some nighttime, some driving in the dark. The LEDs do look brighter. Um, I try to stick to the rule. Really, you only need, I like to say three wheels, but if you can only afford two, within within 10 minutes, I could tell you this, this is good enough. Um, we're big fans of wheels with screens here, but I'll be the first to admit you don't need that. It's, it's a one, right? But driving this, you get the you get the size you need, the diameter you need. So there's 300 millimeters, which is kind of the sweet spot. Not too big, not too small. Um, but you have plenty of inputs for LMP cars, F1 cars. Um, so you know there there's really no flaws in my opinion like there's stuff above this where it's 320 millimeter but that's like a clear-cut 
GT GT car wheel. And you got stuff below this where it's so small, your inputs are really too fast for a GT car. So that's more of like an F1 wheel. If you only want one wheel for all your race cars and then a roll car wheel, it's really tough to beat this. Like I said, the McLaren, the Moza, those have more of a toy feel to them than this does. So, I think, uh, absolutely I would recommend it. See, just now that save I just had, I feel like with a smaller, with a smaller diameter wheel, I might not have been able to catch that. So, yeah, I can definitely say, uh, you know, if you only can get one wheel and you don't care about a screen, this is tough to beat. I do think the GS is worth considering, but again, with that, you're you know you're locked into an ecosystem. So I'm I'm thoroughly impressed. And what I did want to have happen was, oh my God, this is the best thing to slice bread. But it's just it's just tough to beat, like especially like the fact that. You have that Maglink cable, which is basically, you know, something that the cube controls wheels have, but now it's on a more affordable brand, and you know you can get it. At, how much is the Maglink, George? Do you know? Uh, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. It feels pretty sturdy to me, like. <laughs> thoroughly impressed with it and there's a whole lot of binding options you can go with you still got your clutches down below if you want to map them um, yeah this is, this is crazy we are in the LMDH BMW um, crazy thing is how much, how many inputs you have here, right? So you got four front um, rotaries, you got two encoders, you got a ton of buttons you can map, and you also have the clutches back here. Realistically, with this, with the price, you know, if you want a screen, there are a ton of companies that make, um, screens you can just you can just put a buck right there so it blocks the in-game wheel you don't need a super expensive wheel it's a want right but if you don't want to if you can't justify you know getting a crazy nice wheel with the screen input on it something like this the 300 i mean you're only spending what three four hundred dollars more i'll look it up just just to double down I on it. I think when I saw it at Micro Center, the grid screen, because grid makes the screen themselves, I think it was 300 bucks. So, yeah, so if the grid is 300. And Moza makes one too. Yeah, Moza make one. Turn Racing make one. Grid also make a five inch one. <laughs> that goes all the way across, but. Or you could be really, yeah, the, the Porsche one. Yeah. Yeah, you could be really cool and get the, uh, the, the that's the uh, RSR, right? Yeah. The so, so they have the GT3R where it's up here and then they have the RSR where it's integrated. Gotcha. But my point being, as far as like like I said, you know, versatility, you could get something like this and have the the the, the millimeters you want, the inputs you want, and you can save a lot of money with something like this. Um so I, I'm I'm thoroughly impressed like I said I try not to I really try to not be dramatic with the channel because you know you gotta kind of be level headed you don't want I never wanted to give off like it's just placebo you know you're just excited about a cool new wheel and all of that but this is this is really really good man and again with sim hub um 
I'm sure there are really the sky's the limit on things you can have the will do. And you can download other people's profiles too. You can download other people's profiles. But you know, it's just, it's just, I'm thoroughly impressed, man. Um, that being said, we're going to go ahead and keep doing some driving. We got a <laughs> Formula Pro Elite V2 <laughs> will be the next hardware video I do. And let, well, actually, maybe. I got something else coming. Um, you'll see it in a little bit, but the Gomez is on the list. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm thoroughly impressed. Josh, did you have anything you wanted to add before I closed out? Um, and the, the wheel's really good, guys. Uh, again, at the end of the day, what are you gonna spend three hundred dollars on, right? This wheel is like people were telling me that it's way it punches way above its weight, and it does. And there's a reason that they're still on back order. There's a reason that they're still on pre order. Um, well, several reasons I would assume, but one of them is because it magic really changed the game. It's just it's just sought after, desired. Like it's yeah. Exactly. Um, it's, like, it's like Fanatec on Black Friday. <laughs> Sorry for the PTSD that some of you might have, but... <laughs> good save. But, um, a smaller millimeter wheel, I'm not saving that. Or I'm breaking my wrist. Right, <laughs> right. And, 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 and we've, we've done it, right? We've had the, the podium F1 rim. We've the had, F1 bundle. We've had a lot of wheels here yeah. so and and throughout my history of all my wheels whether they be mid-range or high range um and this feels so solid right it doesn't feel like a toy <laughs> yeah that's a big part for me because i will i'm not gonna lie to you like i seem like oh it's just it's just another carbon fiber reinforced plastic wheel i'm like ah uh, but then you get it in your hands and like i said this is the jump over the ks and it's a huge jump over the McLaren. Again, I like it more than my FSR. And that's a $650 wheel. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, guys. Um, we, we still trying to set up Sim Saturday recently. We had a real great time racing at the Nürburgring with the GT1 cars. We also did LMDH at Le Mans. But I'm trying to get a couple more people, get a couple more people together. Maybe, definitely gonna do a driver championship. But I would like to do a constructors champion or a team championship too. I think that would that would be fun. Maybe do a raffle for a teammate or something like that. Um, Apex Vision out as I spin. Let go of the wheel because it'll kill you.